how to train your dog to protect you, please watch video and because more hidden method provide by animals graph. If you have ever owned chickens, you know the horror and risk of a hawk or crow getting a favorite chick, or a raccoon coming in the middle of the night and devouring your whole flock. If you have a dog, or you're planning to get one, you can help keep your chickens safe and give your dog valuable skills by training it to protect your chickens. Research dog breeds. This is important even if you already have a dog. Certain breeds of dog are trained to be more prey driven than others, which makes these dogs less trustworthy around your flock. Knowing if your dog is prey driven will prepare you for the careful and consistent training dogs of that temperament require. Some of the best dogs for guarding chickens are, Great Pyrenees Mare Sheepdog Akbash Kivas's Commodore Polish Tatra Sheepdog Anatolian Shepherd Kangal. Get a dog to train, or train your current one. It is easiest to train a dog from puppy to adult, but if you think your dog has what it takes, consistent and clear training might be all your dog needs. When training your dog, remember to, use succinct commands, repeating a command over and over can teach your dog to ignore you. Reward generously, positive reinforcement, like a treat or verbal praise can curb aggressive tendencies and instill obedient response. Train cheerfully, dogs are sensitive to human tone of voice and body language. Your dog is your comrade and a partner with you in the training experience, kind treatment will go a long way toward obedient response. Gather the right tools for the job. There are many different opinions on the best training method for any dog, but when it comes down to it, every dog is going to be different. Trust your instincts and your knowledge of your animal, but consider using the following tools to assist in training, collar leash muzzle, optional shock collar, optional treats, for reward. Be mindful of puppy psychology. It can be effective to plan your training to occur prior to meals. This way, your dog will be a little hungrier than normal, which will make him more attentive to the treats you are using as a reward. If your dog ever seems as though he's overheated, tired, or too rambunctious, it's best not to force your training. If you become frustrated during the course of your training session with your dog, don't get angry with or yell at him unnecessarily. Dogs with soft temperaments might become anxious or stop paying attention to trainers who yell without reason. If you are frustrated, Simply end your session early and try again later. Know the benefits of positive reinforcement training. This kind of training relies on treats to encourage your dog to perform training exercises and respond to cues, like a spoken command, sound, or gesture. The more irresistible a treat is, the more motivated your dog will be to earn it, so you should experiment to find the treat your dog will work hardest for. Once you have a suitable treat, like small pieces of cut up hot dog or dog biscuits, to train using positive reinforcement you should, illustrate the training goal to your dog. You may have to raise a paw to show it how to shake hands, or you may raise a treat above your dog's head, causing its rump to lower to the ground while issuing the command, sit. Reward immediately for responding to a cue, command. Use the same set of cues commands between all family members. Be prepared to reinforce chicken related good behavior. Whenever your dog responds to one of your cues, commands, especially those related to your chickens, have a treat ready to reward it. Only reward specific good behavior. You don't want your dog to associate a negative action, like barking or chasing your chickens, with receiving a treat.